John King USA, CNN, weeknights at 7 Eastern. 80% of the American people agree with me, agree with the state of Arizona, and I think it's important that the president and I uh, sit down and discuss why it is important and explain to him exactly what it is that um, Arizona is um, feeling and the impact that it's having on our great state, and not only on the great state of Arizona, but certainly on America. So the law takes effect July 29th, I believe. You, Correct. When you signed it, you said, look, I had no choice. The federal government has not kept its responsibility to protect the border, to defend the border. You said you had no choice. Since then, just last week, the president announced 1,200 National Guard troops to be deployed to the border. $500 million, he says, in additional money for border law enforcement, other security efforts. Mm -hmm. Is that enough in your mind? Some have said, well, Governor, then why don't you suspend your law? Ask the legislature maybe to suspend implementation for three months, six months, or nine months to see if the federal government can step up to the plate and do its job, and maybe you don't need it. Well, I, you know, I think we need uh, as much help as that we can get, and certainly uh, the fact of the matter is back in August of last year, you know, I kept writing and trying to contact and kept pleading for help. Uh, for but now that you're getting troops, some, is it good enough to well, say we'll I'm delay implementation? Some, but the only way that I've ever heard that I'm getting it is through the news. I haven't received anything formally. I haven't received any letters, any phone calls. No one has contacted my uh, tag. Uh, there in the state of Arizona, General Salazar. So, I mean, I'm sitting here with no really good information. It would be very helpful, I might say, if somebody would give me something in writing telling me what they're sending to Arizona. How is it going to be distributed? Is it going to go to Texas and California and Arizona and New Mexico? Is it all coming to Arizona? We would be grateful if it were. Uh, you know, what exactly are their plans? And that's one reason why I need to sit and I need to talk to them. I need information. The people of Arizona are um, discouraged. They're fed up. We've had security flaws on the border for years now, and it's time that uh, we do something about it. And, and so if the, what if the president impressed you? What if you came away saying, okay, not everything I want, but this is a pretty good down payment. And it, what if he said, Governor, give me a chance. Ask your legislature to delay implementation of this law. Give me three months. Give me six months. Are you open to that, or do no. you think no, no? No. No, I think you don't trust a, him. I, <laughs> I don't think it's a matter of trusting him or not. I think that what we've done, we've mirrored a federal law. I think the people of Arizona, uh, certainly people uh, throughout America, agree uh, that it is the right thing to do. Uh, we've been down this path before with securing our borders in Arizona, um, and nothing uh, was uh, finished. And so we need to move forward. Uh, you know, it's trespassing when you cross the border into Arizona, uh, into the United States. It's trespassing. It, we need our borders border secure. John, listen, we are faced with um, uh, <laughs> terrible things that are happening uh, to, to our beautiful state. There are, there are, terrible, there are terrible things. Drugs, there's a, a heinous murder murders. of a rancher down there. There are drugs coming across the border. But if you look at FBI statistics, they actually say, despite these awful things, that violent crime is essentially at a flat rate, even down a little bit. And some would say that, yes, you know, there have been some horrible incidents, but in total, crime's actually down. There's not a need for this. In regards to illegal immigration crime or to what kind of crime? Crime is down in Arizona. The fact of the matter is, is if you're living in Arizona and you're living in the areas that are severely impacted, you are faced with it on a daily basis. And we're not going to put up with it anymore. We have borders. Every nation has um, reasons to have lines, borders, might you say, you know? And, uh, and a nation without borders is like a house without walls. It collapses. And that's what's going to happen to America. We need our borders secured. What happens in your state? There are many states, including your neighbors, Utah and New Mexico, mm -hmm. that allow people to get a driver's license without, prove, without having to prove legal status. Mm -hmm. if, if a Latino were pulled over in your state, the, if the officers acting fully in compliance with the law had reason to pull them over for something and then mm -hmm. decided to ask, if, inquire about their status, is that good enough? If, if, I, if I'm a Hispanic American from Utah, legally or illegally, I have a driver's license, is that enough or do they have to carry better papers? It wouldn't matter whether you're a Latino or Hispanic or, or Norwegian if you didn't have proof of uh, citizenship and if the police officer had reasonable suspicion, he would ask and verify your citizenship. I mean, that's, that's the way that it is. That's what the federal law says and that's what the law in Arizona says. You, you make a passionate case about the immigration problem. I want to ask you if cumulatively you worry at all about the image of your state. The, the new immigration law passed. Uh, there was this policy about you know, reassigning teachers with accents. There was the ethnic studies, but the ban on ethnic studies in some classrooms. And as you know, critics have said that your state is sending a message that, that immigrants, that Latinos are not welcome. 
I think that's unfair. I don't think that's true. I think that uh, the majority of the people understand exactly what Arizona has done and will continue to do. And it certainly isn't based on racism. And it's unfortunate, but the critics are in the minority. The majority is with Arizona. I want to ask you, as a Republican governor uh, running for re-election this year, imagine you were 25 or 30 years old just getting your start in politics. I just wonder if you worry about this, because if you're right, a majority of the, your people of your state, a majority of the people nationally have said they support this new law. Mm -hmm. But if you look at polling, the standing of Republicans among Latino voters, and that population is growing dramatically, especially it in is. your state. If you just, we asked uh, NBC Wall Street Journal poll, who do you want to control Congress after the election? Democrats have a 35-point advantage over Republicans among Latino voters. Other numbers have showed the Republican Party suffering among them. Do you worry about that as a Republican politician, that in the short term this might help you, but that your party is digging a ditch? Well, I think the big concern is, is that we want all people to look at us, and as a politician, certainly I want them to know that the Republican Party embraces them. We want them to join our party. I think traditionally uh, they, they're... <laughs> their philosophy is more aligned with the Republican Party than the Democrat Party. But we want a beautiful state. We want to be hospitable. We want everybody. We love our diversity in our state. And we want everybody involved. We just don't want illegal immigration and we want our borders secured. It's as simple as that. Uh -uh. We don't want to pay the price that we have to pay. Let me ask you in closing, when you sit across the table from the President of the United States, what is your number one, I don't know whether to call it a demand, a request, what is it? I think that it will probably be, Mr. President, we need our borders secured. How can we work together to get it done? We need your help. We've been putting up with this for eight, ten years. We need it now. We can't, we can't tolerate it any longer. We cannot tolerate it. America can't tolerate it any longer. And, it, and if his answer is, I'm going to do what I announce, but your law is misguided and my Justice Department might sue you. I would say, well, we'll meet you in court. I have a pretty good record of winning in court.